Good morning, it's 726. Thanks for watching. I'm Jackson Rosinski. Davenport Mayor Mike Matson said the city's budget is primed for the future during his State of the City address yesterday. He focused on several areas like infrastructure, flood mitigation, and public safety. Matson also said he expects to fill the city administrator position within a few months. That job used to be held by Corey Spiegel, who reached a separation agreement with the city that paid her $1.6 million. She accused some elected officials of harassment, but Matson kept his focus on the city budget. Public safety and infrastructure, uh, the drivers that we talked about, economic development, so that we and governments and transparency and in the in the things we need to keep working on. That's where the budget is. You'll see more examples of it, but you've said it, other people have said it, and continue to tell us these are where you should put the money. And then the staff executes. Matson did not mention last year's deadly apartment building collapse downtown or the ongoing lawsuits against the city. A bird in Sterling tested positive for West Nile virus. Authorities found the dead bird on May 31st. The positive result came back yesterday. People and other animals can get West Nile from mosquitoes. They become infected by feeding on dead birds. Whiteside County health officials recommend reducing your exposure to mosquitoes using repellent and reporting dead birds or large bodies of stagnant water that attract mosquitoes to the health department. Now that's a look at your local news. Now here's Mariah with your local pinpoint forecast. Well, good morning. It is currently 727 and we are heading into a very good start to your day so far. Even our temperatures are pretty comfortable. Started out a bit more on the cooler side this morning. 56 right now in our Quad Cities, 55 in Tipton and about 55 in Kiwani as well. So all in all, not too bad. Minimal winds and that should take you through the majority of your day for today. Here's a look at your satellite radar. It's been mostly quiet as we headed through Monday into today as well. Our main concern this afternoon will mostly be a bit of clouds that will work their way in from the west spreading east, but it should taper off fairly nicely by the time we head into your overnight hours. Here's a quick look at that. Those clouds coming in are staying more on the partly cloudy to mostly cloudy side of things throughout the midday, and then you should clear out to a pretty good ending to our afternoon. Highs in the 80s today and overnight lows mostly in the lower 50s once again, so it should feel pretty similar to how it felt today. Still waking up to a pretty good start to your early Wednesday morning. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks for watching. Check for updates all day long on our quadcities.com.